time to say those words. Uh, drivers, uh, the very best of luck and start your engines! We have a green, it's race time with the World Championship semi-final. Off they go then at the head of the action. It is Tom Harris who gets away at the front. And there is a bit of smoke from the number one car and uh, well, we'll see whether or not that is ominous as things unfold. Tom Harris though comes around and leading the way as uh, 216 Jack Francis take the sideways 408 at Walt Neils caught out in that as well and Paul Harrison goes around too. Reese is out for Rob Pan caught up now with Walt Neils at the end of that initial sequence. And Harris also uh, struggling then to drop to the back of the field. So number one, it is Tom Harrison leads it through. 95 is already on that down. It's Liam Gilbank who runs in second. Charlie saw the third. 259 Paul Hines fourth and Danny Wayman rounds out the top five. That is now they go in the early stages. Tom Starling to pull away and get into his stride. Bits of blue smoke at the beginning also seem to have let this appear from the number one car. As uh, Rob Mitchell in 95 goes in on the fellow back mark of the and four. Rob Plant there. Gets that uh, second place around. It's still Bill back from Sorba. Hines in 259 and Danny Wayman. And that 217 Fairhurst 446 Booth. Then uh, Sergeant and Car 526. That is the order. As they come round. Number one is Tom Harris. Bill's up. Perfectly well with Ant at Ward Mills uh, further down the running. Now up behind uh, Paul Harrison coming in that uh, early uh, spin as well. So uh, it is Tom Harris leading away on this from Liam Gilbank. Sorder is third, Hines is fourth, Wayman is fifth. Sixth place set is now Finn Sargent, who's moved up well as Henry Robson gets a bit out of shape there in 67. So Robson goes up and goes again, and uh, it is a wheel off uh, down there. We have got a wheel off. Uh, on the raceway so it's yellows out with Sean Webster stranded down here at the start of the home straight and it's uh, 48 Sean Webster who uh, comes uh, to a uh, halt and will get uh, the uh, drivers uh, into uh, line we'll check the situations uh, in uh, the race order and we'll get uh, back to racing uh, on this uh, world championship semi-final very shortly
So we are racing once again in the World Championship semi-final for the Formula One stock cars. Oh, an early doors there, this uh, manner of dramas 408 and Walt Neils goes in with the bumper on Catherine Harris, uh, who uh, has a clash of wheels that tangles a bit with number two, Paul Harrison. Uh, on that restart, Gilbank has got uh, trouble now from uh, 95 Mitchell as well. So Rob Mitchell involved there, Liam Gilbank gets through uh, and then uh, safely uh, away from that group. Number five, Charlie Sorder. So next uh, in the order there. So number one it is who uh, goes through. We are five to run next time. Five next time, it's Red 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 uh, on the raceway. Red's out. Uh, on oh, the raceway with a roller down there now in the corner. It's uh, Reds out uh, on the raceway with this uh, World Championship semi-final turning into uh, a uh, very dramatic race. And that is number 20, uh, Liam Gilbank, out uh, of the action. Well, would you believe it? Just when you thought... It was all sewn up, restart comes. Oh, give him a round of applause as he gets up and out, Liam Gilbank. Absolutely flying. And well in. So, we get the race back on the way. Oh, Catherine Harris though, comes back down the right way. So we go back to Wave Yellows, Mr. Star. We go back to Wave Yellows on the raceway. It's back to Wave Yellows with the fence hanging down over the front of the plating. So we get to Yellows in the interest of safety once again. So back to Green Flats. Away we go once more. Will there be any more into the past ourselves? Tom Harris it is in the number one machine who leads them away once more. Number five, Charlie Sawdry, second from Sergeant, is now up to third. And we are five laps to run next time, please. Five next time around. Oh, 166, Bobby Griffin there gets caught up. James Morris getting caught up as Nigel de Kock tries to head for the infield. And uh, hits the marker tire and gets into all that sort of drama. Wanda also uh, stranded uh, down there. He now gets himself back on the move. So back uh, around they come. Four to go for Tom Harris in number one. It's Harris who leads it. Sergeant is second. Wayman is now back up to 32 on two. Sorder is fourth. Booth that rounds out the top five. That is how we see the sequence in this. Tom Harris goes through and counts off of the lap. It's all about the places now. Sergeant second with Wayman still very much in touch with him. So is Sorber in that car number five in fourth place. It's a little way back to Booth in fifth. And he's got Paul Hines and Frankie Junior Junior within striking distance as well. So will there still be a lap sort out in this one? It remains to be seen. But back through we go, it is last lap time for Tom Harris in the number one machine. So Harris down the back straight for the last time of asking. Nobody anywhere close to give him any trouble. And the defending world champion will be front row at Skegness. Tom Harris wins it. It's Finn Sargent for second, Wayman for then sort of then move. Hines after that, then Junior, Junior. Through come the remaining cars to complete the maps in their positions on that race. There we go, Mr. Starler. That's all of the finishers through. Red flags now, please. Red flags end the racing in the World Championship semi-final for the Formula One stock cars.